Greetings to you, my friends. I am Adamu of the monadic entity of the Pleiadian civilization, and I am speaking to you as always through my trusted friend and scribe, Zingdad. As always, what I would like to be speaking to you about is your awakening, the elevation of your consciousness, your enlightenment. And what I am going to speak to you about is, is the, the, the related topics of um, your elections and the coronavirus. And then I'm going to invite you to an interaction where we can really begin to talk about awakening and ascension. So, elections. This is not normally a topic that I would wish to address with you. Uh, um, we as the Pleiadian Collective are not normally particularly interested in the political theater that occurs here on planet Earth because normally you are being presented an, a, a, a collection of choices that are always still just fronts for, for the global elite, the dark cabal, the Illuminati, whatever we are calling them. Well, as of now, I, I find I'm choosing to call them the delete, dark elite, busy being erased um, from this position of de facto leadership of the planet, busy losing that status, therefore the delete. The elections now in the United States are interesting in that this is something more than the usual political theater. This is actually a battle, a litmus test, I suppose one could say, in the battle between two levels of consciousness. On the one hand, we have the delete and their deep desire to put a cap on the elevation of consciousness, to disallow humanity from rising from third density much beyond fourth. The fourth density of consciousness is the density of, of other responsibility. At the fourth density of consciousness, you are willing to place an other on a pedestal and to say, you lead me, you teach me, you tell me, you tell me what to do. And the delete offer you idols to place on those pedestals in the form of all of their useful tools, in the form of, of um, press, the figures of authority that appear in the news, in the form of their politicians, and they make a business of possessing p politicians, of buying them in a variety of ways, controlling them, manipulating them. Entertainment, they make a business of making sure that entertainment fits within their agenda and that the stars that you worship, your stars of entertainment, are also agents under their control, also possessed. And it goes deeper than that. They have been working for quite some time now to make sure that they are in control of educators, of scientists, and as always, pastors and popes, religious authorities, religious figures, wherever they can, they strive to take ownership and possess and control through a network of manipulation and control. Anybody that might be seen to be somebody that would be an authority. And so they block your consciousness from rising above other responsibility. And then they tell you who you must give your, your, your authority or responsibility to. And you do. And so you are led like lambs to the slaughter. You are taught and trained and controlled and manipulated. And a substantial section of human population continues to be manipulated and controlled in this way. Their, con their consciousness continues to be held at that level for density and lower, other responsibility and lower. But 
the awakening that is occurring through a variety of agencies, star seeds, light bringers, um, beings of high consciousness incarnating here, iteratively going through the pain of the shattering, and now at this time awakening, now at this time bringing, a, 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 a bringing new light into, uh, in, into the human neurosphere, helping you to awaken, helping you to awaken above 4D to 5D and above, which is uh, the consciousness of self-responsibility, and above 6D is, is unity consciousness. But already at the level of self-responsibility, you look to your own authority. You look to your connection to the divine that you find within yourself. And if you find the connection to the divine within yourself, you're very unlikely to place other, others on pedestals. You're very unlikely to simply follow like a sheep. You become self-motivated. You know who you are. You know what's true for you. And when you see these talking heads on television, these authority figures, you listen to what they say and you start to see through the lies. You start to look more broadly for your sources of information. You start to find alternative streams of information and you have your own filter in place. You say, this is true and that's not. I'll go with this and that doesn't resonate for me. Self-responsibility dawns. And what's happening right now in America, I say it's a, it's a litmus test of the battle between these two types of consciousness because the other responsible are clearly playing the game according to the delete's wishes. They're engaged in all kinds of dirty tricks, in all kinds of voter fraud, creating maximum pain and chaos, really promoting a story in your collective consciousness that everything is going to hell and that you need to get back on the bandwagon. You need to, again, uh, begin to follow the leadership that is being offered to you, that, that the delete support, or else life will become completely untenable. So this is what is going on right now, and it's very interesting to notice that you definitely do seem to be moving strongly towards the self-responsible timeline when we notice that less and less of you are believing the press. Something like two-thirds of, of, of all respondents to a recent survey in the United States said they find the press to be largely not believable. About one third said utterly unbelievable. So these kinds of indications are interesting. It will be very interesting to see what actually happens with the election. Because now, as with the last, as with the last election in the United States, it is a test of consciousness, but now it really matters. Those of you that have been watching carefully, those that of you that have been using alternative media sources will know that the last four years of the present presidency have really been about putting everything in place, preparation for a seismic shift in, um, in, in the political landscape, in, in, in what is happening um, in, in in American politics because there has been so much dirty business and all of this is going to be brought to the surface. It's going to be quite a shock for many, for, 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 for those who have been um, attached to their other responsible position. They are going to be, we see, we're, we're, what we see in the future, what we see coming is if you stay to the self-responsible timeline, a big shock for the other responsibles, a, a, an opportunity for, for grand awakening, and they may take it, they might not. It will be interesting. 
I don't want to say a lot more about the elections. They are important. If you are in America, if you're an American citizen, if you um, are able to vote, well, make your choice appropriately, but I'm sure you already are. So this is really more of an update. What's also very interesting at the moment is what's occurring with the coronavirus pandemic. What I wish to say is this, my friends. First of all, the coronavirus is a manufactured virus. Again, if you've been reading behind the scenes, this won't come as a surprise for you at all. It's a manufactured virus. It was produced in a laboratory, and it's not very difficult to guess which that laboratory was. What's interesting is that the production of this virus was financed by the delete through their agents, their, their, their tools, their minions, paid for the development of this virus. The purpose of this virus really comes down to just one thing. Why would they manufacture this virus? They always have a number of, 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 of purposes that it will serve, but the primary purpose was just this, to make Earth humanity clamor, beg for a vaccine. That's the overriding number one purpose, to make you beg for a vaccine. Why do they want you to beg for a vaccine? They want to be able to universally vaccinate the whole planet. Why do they want to do that? The vaccine that they have in mind, that they were in the process of developing while they were developing the virus, is a, 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 um, a gene therapy tool. Now, my friends, this is not something to be taken lightly. Gene therapy. Therapy being a euphemism. The alteration of your genetic code. What is it that differs, that makes you human? You're an eternally mortal spirit being. You are in a human body. Your body is as it is because of your genetics. That's what makes you human. And not some other kind of a physical form. You're a human because of your genetics. If they can control your genetics, they gain vast access to the controlling of, of, of all of humanity. And what they wish to do, we've spoken about this just a moment ago, the capping of consciousness, keeping you below the, 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 that threshold where your consciousness awakens to self-responsibility. And yes, it can be done through genetic means. Your genetic code is, is a lot more than your science currently usually represents. That is to say, most who follow what science teaches would understand that it's, it's really just, it's purely material. It's, uh, your genetic code is an, a collection of amino acids that, that, that result in, in, in the building of your body and nothing else. Well, it is already understood by certain of your scientists that your, your genetics are far more than that and that you can actually manipulate and control the kind of of consciousness that can be that can be held in that can be propagated into a body and and the kinds of of thoughts that can can easily be thought you can you can limit the connection between the light body and the physical body by damaging essentially the genome and this is just one of their strategies. They really are control maniacs, the delete. They want total control. They want to control you absolutely and a very powerful tool that they are almost ready to actually implement is by controlling your genome. And this is the purpose of the vaccine. Now, when the vaccine arrives, it probably won't immediately, almost certainly won't immediately, have, 
have 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 that dire level of 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 activity their plan is to reveal to you after the first vaccine that oh we need regular boosters because um your 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 immunity doesn't last that that long towards the coronavirus and because the coronavirus mutates and and and, and there's a now there's a, 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 a second um flush coming across the earth and we need to vaccinate you again and the idea is to let you um believe that each each round each vaccination this is it but that there will always just be a booster two three four per year for every single human on planet earth every year f uh, into eternity that's their plan total control placing a cap on consciousness why this will fail is interesting first of all it fails because of the awakening in humanity there is certainly a sufficient percentage of all humans right now that will resist being vaccinated just on some instinctive intuitive level they say this doesn't seem right and so there will be sufficient refusal that um that th th their plans won't work but to aid this there has been a very interesting development and and to to, to discuss this development I need to take a, a, a brief step back and tell you what it is that we, as, as, as the Pleiadian civilization, what do we do when we encounter a, 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 a viral agent that um, causes epidemic or might potentially cause pandemic amongst, amongst our civilization? What do we do? Do we vaccinate? We don't. We've moved beyond the point where we believe it's necessary to have an intervention in the physical body. The bodies are intelligent. They have beautiful, intelligent immune systems like yours. Our bodies have the same kind of mechanisms. We are also genetic beings. We're very similar to you in many ways. So what we do is as soon as we discover such a problematic virus is we take the virus into the laboratory and our technology our, our our understanding of genetics dna rna and so forth is 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 really substantially in advance of your own i i i, I don't wish to gloat you're doing very well um but but we've had tens of thousands of years of uninterrupted development before your civilization was even in its infancy so it shouldn't come as a surprise that that we we really have mastered these techniques and what we do is we take the virus and we look at its genetics and we alter the virus's genetics and release an altered strain which we call a domesticated strain you know if you look at the dog and you compare a, a domesticated dog to a wild wolf dogs versus wolves wild versus domesticated well a, a wild viral strain um, propagates through the population and causes illness a domesticated viral strain is far 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 more contagious far more likely to propagate through the population jumps from person to person and propagates rampantly but is not at all damaging to your health that's a domesticated strain now if you think about that for just a moment then the domesticated strain will completely outcompete the wild strain because it's far more contagious but you don't mind because when you catch it it causes negligible harm there is an immune response 
naturally, your body recognizes he has a virus. Your body knows what viruses are, and you, in your case, the coronavirus. The coronavirus is, is, is a, a, a mutated member of a family of viruses which your body knows so well. Um, you, you have um, colds which are caused by coronaviruses. They're of the same family. Your body knows what a coronavirus is. So if your immune system is functioning and if you're nominally healthy and you, you got the wild strain, you would probably be fine. You would get ill, not feel well, but you'd get over it. If you get the domesticated strain, you have perhaps a day or two, three at the very outside, of your body's immune system responding, coping, producing its own antibodies, doing its beautiful genius that it thing that it does which is responding to such a threat so this is this is what we do and and this is why we're we we actually when when we have a a viral strain like that we we we, we pass around little 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 vials and we we, we willingly knowingly um, take a few days off and infect ourselves with the domesticated strain and life goes on so that's a domesticated strain. Now, by some, let's call it miraculous divine intervention, there seems to be what very much appears to be a domesticated strain doing the rounds on planet Earth right now. Which means the coronavirus has gone from being a threat to becoming less and less of a threat. The, the, the wild virus is still out there. And um, there are still many human beings with terrible comorbidities, people who are very ill with all kinds of things. And there is still, at this point, there is still a um, powerful political agenda to drive your demand for the vaccine. So you are being lied to wholesale about the impact and the effect of the coronavirus. People who are dying of other things, you're being told they died of coronavirus. The test is the, um, that is used, the PCR test, um, is not intended to be used in this way. You get false positives. Um, in every possible way, you are being manipulated to continue to demand the vaccine. It's no longer necessary. If the vaccines were produced by really trustworthy laboratories whose intentions are absolutely the purest, then I would say there might be a case for a very small section of the population those that we know to be truly at risk to be vaccinated. People who have real health problems, people who are um, old, obese, who are struggling with problems of the lungs, problems of the heart, problems of the vascular system. There's, there's a case to be made that a ethically crafted vaccine could be used. But for the rest of the population, given everything that's going on, given the, 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 the medicines that are available, if you get it, that you don't get too ill with it, given all of that, given what's known, if the medical fraternity and the so-called World Health Organization were truly all operating from a place of, of integrity and, and, and honesty and authenticity for the greatest good of humanity, then there would not be a push at all for global vaccinations. So that then my update on the subject of the coronavirus. My friends, there's so much going on. And um, we are able to have this conversation and things are able to proceed as they are because the delete are in as much trouble as they are. 
they're a, a many-headed monster. Um, in mythology, there was this, a, a beast called a hydra, a creature with many heads. And that's what they are. They're a many-headed monster. And, and, and they're, up until sometime fairly recently, there was one head that uh, bound the others to its will and was controlling this monster. And so it was working in concert, working together for total domination and control of the planet. That head has been decapitated. If you want to know about that, we have spoken about it. It's called um, the story of the ancient red vampire. You have a look at that if you haven't already. But as a consequence, there are now many heads, and they're not all playing together. They form temporary alliances. Those alliances break and shift, and they attack each other, and there's internal conflict, and, and that's why they keep dropping the ball. That's why it was possible uh, in the last election in the United States for an agent that doesn't serve them, for an agent not of the delete to win the election. That's why it's possible that it's going to happen again. That's why uh, the uh, Brexit could happen, and, and, and so many of these um, um, difficulties that the delete have been struggling with all stem really from this, 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 this decapitation of their previous head. So my friends, what I'd like to say in, in closing is we will be having um, live events I will be speaking through Zingdad at live events coming soon, um, live on the internet. So not recorded uh, like this format is, but, but speaking to you in, in person. And if you'd like to join in that, those events will be finally to talk about awakening and the elevation of consciousness, to talk about your transformation to talk about discovering the divine within, to help you to find that, to help you to bring your own divine light into your being. So raising consciousness from self-responsible up to unity consciousness. So what we'll be doing, we'll be addressing this in, in, in a number of ways, um, meditating together and, and, and having um, deep conversations together about awakening. It's really time for us to move the conversation in that direction. So, as always, a fairly lengthy update from me. I look forward to our, our shared live events. Um, stay tuned. Zingdad will be announcing that soon. Until then, stay strong. You're doing beautifully. I love you all with the heart of oneness. I am Adamu of the monadic entity of the Plaudian civilization and I have been coming as always to you through my dear friend and scribe, Zingdad. Until next time, goodbye.